So you might think you know how to use Word properly, but after writing a 100 page dissertation, I picked up a handful of tips and tricks I never knew existed that I feel many people are missing out on. So with that, let's begin. So first, I want to quickly cover some tips regarding the customization of Word. If you're working late at night or generally don't want to blast your face with bright light, then go to File and then account. From here, you can change the theme of Office as you please. For a dark mode style, click on the black theme. When returning to your document, you'll have a much darker theme. Note that the page stays white. In order to fix this, go to the View tab and then you'll have a group called Dark Mode that has appeared. If you press Switch Modes, you can change between a dark page and a light page colour on the fly. I know for those of you on more recent Office versions, you get the Focus Mode option as well, which allows you to work with zero distractions from the rest of the software, so you could use this as well. Another quick tip for custom customization is pinning documents as well as customizing save locations. If you go to file you'll be on the home menu where you can see your recent documents. As you create documents the older files will naturally move further down the list so if there's one that you want to keep a tab on accessible then pin the document and then you'll also get a pin section as well to see the pinned documents. If you go to save as you'll have a list of various frequently saved locations as well as other system folders. You can pin these too as well as add certain folders that you might use more regularly. Some other quick customizations or if you double click the gap at the top of the page, the header and the footer will become hidden and the gaps between the pages will be removed as well, which can be quite handy if you're using Word on a small laptop screen. Another quick tip is double clicking on any of the ribbon headings to expand and collapse the whole ribbon. You can do the same by pressing the up arrow icon on the far right to do the same thing. Right, so now that we have the basics of customization covered, we can move into the meat of the video and some other key tips. The first is PDF editing. If you want to edit a PDF document or convert it into a Word format. Just open it from within Word by going to File and then Open. Or the easier way is by pressing Ctrl W on a blank document to close it and then just drag the file into Word. Word will then give you a dialog with some information on the conversion and if you press OK it will convert this into an editable form for you. This also includes PDFs where the text is part of an image or embedded inside of it. Another quick tip is if you want some temporary text. As you can see here I've been using throughout the video. Type equals rand open brackets, two numbers separated by a comma and close brackets. In this case, the first number represents how many paragraphs you want and the second number specifies the number of sentences in each paragraph. After pressing enter, the text will be generated for you from the help notes of Microsoft Word. If you want lorem ipsum text though, which is just some random text that is commonly used across various systems as a placeholder, then just replace the rand with lorem and this will work in the same way as you can see here. Now, I bet you've been at a point where you're working on a document in multiple places going back and forth, making changes between two areas. In order to save you a hell of a lot of time, go to the View tab and then click on Multiple Windows. Now, a second window opens and you can position the two windows how you like and get to where you need to be in the document and work between the two, with changes syncing perfectly between them. There's also a button to arrange the windows horizontally in a split screen mode, which can be particularly useful, especially if you hide the ribbons. Another tip that is often hidden in plain sight is the screenshot tool in Word. If you go to the Insert tab and then go to this screenshot button. You get an option to take a screenshot of any window you want with a single click and Word will take a screenshot of the window and place it directly in your text for you to edit as needed. And if this is not good enough for you and you want to save even more steps, then click on the screen clipping option at the bottom. This will minimize Word and open up a screenshot interface. This allows you to draw exactly what you want to be screenshotted and then it will directly place this into the document without you having to save, copy or paste it in. Super handy. What can also be really handy is searching for stuff. Instead of pressing Ctrl F on your keyboard trying to find something in the document, click on the arrow next to the magnifying glass and you'll get a drop down with various options that allow you to search specific aspects of your document. If you click on advanced search though and click on the more button, you'll get even more options. Again, there's quite a lot in here, so it's best if you have a look yourself. But a quick tip would be to press the special characters button where you can then add types of characters or specific combination of characters. For example, by selecting any digit from the menu, adding a dot and then selecting any space Space, I could search through the whole document for numbered lists specifically. Like I said, it's best if you just experiment with these yourself as this can be quite a powerful tool. Another quick tip is the built-in clipboard manager in Word. If you go to the home tab for example in the ribbon and then click on this tiny icon in the corner, a clipboard panel will appear. Using this panel, you can see everything you've copied as part of a history. Even if you copy new things, this will just
just be added to the list. From here, you can then click on each of the entries to paste that selection where your cursor is. This way, you don't need to copy and paste things one at a time and be worried about overwriting your clipboard. What can also be quite useful are the quick parts and building blocks feature in Word. This again is another powerful tool and I don't want to go super in depth into this in this video, but you can save presets for things like text boxes, headers, footers and other elements within Word. If you save a preset, you'll see it then as an additional section in the relevant drop down menu. Similarly, if you make a selection, you can save this as a quick part, which basically becomes a selection that you can repeatedly paste into your documents from this menu. Again, this is a really brief overview of the feature, so be sure to check it out if this is something you're interested in. Okay, so I wasn't sure how to organize these next tips, as they're pretty simple but can save you a lot of time, so here they are as fast as possible. Number 1. Format Painter. Place your cursor somewhere and then press this button. Then select some text that you want to format in the same way as the text that your cursor was placed next to, and the new text will change to match. Number 2. Change Case. If you want to capitalize a whole sentence, part of it, or anything to do with capital letters, select the text and then press this button to change the capitalization as needed. Number 3. The Formatting Button. This is something you have to enable on more complex documents with page breaks, headings, bullet points, tab spacing, and other elements regarding formatting. This will allow you to see these elements which are typically hidden. Number 4. Icons. If you go to Insert, then Icons, you'll have a bunch of different icons that you can use as you please throughout your document. In more recent modern versions of Word, you get access to other things in here too, such as stock photos as well, just so you know. Number 5. Sorting Lists. By going to the Home tab and selecting the Sort button, you can sort the selected text by number or alphabetical order. And finally, number 6. The Status Bar. Right click on the Status Bar at the bottom of your document. This will allow you to customize what shows up here to your liking by checking a tick next to the various options. And finally, I'll quickly cover some keyboard shortcuts you should definitely be using. Okay, so Control Backspace or Command Backspace on a Mac to delete entire words quickly instead of pressing Backspace multiple times. Same goes for deleting stuff to the right of the cursor. Press Control and then the Delete key. On a Mac, it is Control Shift Backspace. Secondly, if you have a bunch of text that is randomly in different formatting, press the Control and then Spacebar in order to remove the formatting from all text that is selected. This is better than manually going through and selecting different parts of your sentence. And finally, just some general formatting tips. Control B bolds a selection, Control I makes it italic, Control U underlines, and using the Control comma or Control period keys will make the font bigger or smaller, all without using the mouse or trackpad. Right, so those are some tips and tricks for Word you should definitely be using in your next document. If you have any other suggestions for topics I could cover, leave a comment below. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.